At this time, I would like to introduce to you Pastor Dave Fabio, who will give our keynote address. Thank you so much. And uh, thank, I, they made me promise I'd keep it to under an hour and a half, I promise. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to be here and inviting me to be here. It's a truly an honor for me because I have a lot of respect for the Elks Club and the YMCA and uh, the good work they do. And so I'm just thanking you guys for inviting me. But I want to address you today as my fellow Americans. I'm proud to be an American. And I'm just honored also to be in the presence of some veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and probably the Middle East stuff, I, I don't know. But I just want to thank you for your service to this country because it's because of brave men and women who have really uh, allowed us to be free. So I just want to just address a couple things, what the flag means to me. The flag means to me a symbol of liberty and justice for all. It, it also represents to me a, a beacon of hope to people that are depressed and that are downtrodden, whether they be here in the United States or across the world. I, I respect the idea that many times immigrants, when they come to this country, they get on the ground and they kiss the ground of the United States because they know better than we do sometimes what we have. So my encouragement today would be do not take for granted what we have. Don't take our freedom for granted, our liberty, and continue to pray for the United States of America. Um, I just want to say that um, anytime I see the flag flowing, it, it almost brings tears to my eyes. We don't worship the flag, but we respect the flag and we, re we honor it for what it stands. So that's, uh, I wanted to just say thank you to the veterans and thank you to anybody that served in America. and. That's what the flag means to me. And I thought I should share that with you. You know, and it represents freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, you know, freedom, uh, many freedoms, all of those represented in the Bill of Rights. And it's good to be aware of that and not to take it for granted. And we have freedom to love one another, not hate one another, like these crazy people that shot people. I don't care what party we're affiliated with or who's our favorite candidate. That does not control us. We should not, we, we got a bigger picture and that is to love one another, pray for one another, and allow other people to have different, different uh, perspectives and different beliefs. And that's what America's all about. So I just wanted to encourage you today to be thankful for our country, thankful for our flag, Thankful for what it stands and uh, to pray for our country and our leaders. And uh, I want to say thank you once again to uh, the Elks Club for inviting me to share in a few minutes. I promised I'd keep it short. So, and I want to say thank you to the YMCA and those affiliated because uh, they really do have a great organization. I was thinking about it last night as I was swimming. It's only a few more weeks to swim in that pool. Then we can come down here and swim. So God bless all of you, and uh, God bless America. We still do serve a country that is great. How many agree we're already a great America? Amen? Praise the Lord.